In this video, I'm going to show you how to reverse the coding of an ordinal variable. For this example, I'm going to reverse the coding for a variable called satisfaction, which is a Likert scale question from a questionnaire. Employees indicate their level of satisfaction with their position, and the values range between 1 and 5. Now, if we double click on satisfaction, it could take us to the variable view, and if we click on our value labels, it will show that our current coding is 1 for strongly disagree and all the way down to 5 equals strongly agree. And I want to change that so that 5 is strongly disagree and then strongly agree is 1. So if we go to transform and then we choose recode into different variables because I want to create a new variable, I don't want to overwrite my existing data. Now I have something left over so I'll hit reset and then I will find my satisfaction variable in the left hand side and I'm going to move it over to my variables box and then I need to give it a name remember it can't have a space or a special character except for an underscore and then I'll click change and my variable name will appear in the box click on old and new values now my old value 1 represents strongly disagree and I'm going to change that to a 5. 2 for disagree I want the new value to be 4. 3 is undecided and it's going to stay unchanged so I'm going to put 3 in my new value box. 4 for agree is going to become 2 and then 5 for strongly agree will become 1 and make sure to click add each time. Now you'll see my old coding from 1 to 5 is going to be changed to 5 to 1. Go ahead and click continue when you're done and then click OK. Your output box will always show first. We'll go back to the data file and we can see at the bottom of the variable view a new variable called satisfaction recode has been added. Change the decimal places to 0 and I'm going to go ahead and give it a new label. If I scroll over to the right, I'm going to change the measure to ordinal and then I'm going to change my value labels and put in my new coding. So you remember I reversed my coding, so strongly agree was 1, but now it's 5. Make sure to click add and then 4 is disagree. And 3 is undecided or neutral. 2 is agree. And 1 is strongly agree. Make sure to click Add each time. Click OK, and then go back to the data view. And you can see I have my new variable on the very end. I'm going to move it over next to the other variable so I can compare the data. Now they should match. So if it was agree for the original variable, it should be agree for my new one. Same thing for disagree, disagree. I wrote neutral instead of undecided but those should be the same. And if I look at my coding, my coding is different. It has been reversed. So fours became twos, two became four, three stayed three, one became five, and fives have become one. You'll notice I have two missing values at the top. They were zero in the original variable, but I have not coded my missing values yet. So they remain blank.